Hello, World of Tank Blitzers, and hopefully a few future momrads. Hey, I'm Littlefinger today doing a full tank review on the PZ38NA. You can see it in the garage here. It is a German Tier 4 light tank. You can see it is small in stature, and it does have the best armor in the class at 50 millimeters. Gun depression is only 7 degrees, but uh, it's got the a good German gun on it, which is going to give you um, good penetration values and good damage as well. So let's take a quick look here at the tech tree just to show you where this will take you. Um, so if you've come up the light line, um, this is the end of the German lights. You can see here that you would then need to go down to the PZ4 medium, um, in which you can then branch out and go down the E100, the mouse, and even up through the TD line and get to the Jagpanzer E100. So a lot of options here. Um, if you like light, fast tanks, um, you've probably stayed in this one and uh, gotten to here. So um, let's take a look at the setup on this. Um, repair kit, multi-purpose, and adrenaline are the consumables that I am running. Provisions running all three, standard fuel, chocolate bar and protective kit ammunition you will need APCR with this against most tier 5 tanks um, so I'm running 18 rounds of APCR and in one of these battles you can see I almost ran out so um, only a few rounds of HE can't remember using that and um, remember here you can change your Pramo by clicking on the shell price button 1200 credits per round there okay so here we are on the tank compare website and you can see I've got all of the tier 4 light non-premium tanks listed PZ 38 NA is on the left um, and this is without any equipment loaded so just a standard tank setup um, DPM 1159 it's uh, Kind of towards the bottom of the pack here, you've got the Kehoe, Covenanter, and M5 Stewart with more damage per minute. Um, penetration is, again, middle of the pack. Only the Kehoe is in the A20 or better. Um, and your alpha is 70. So, you know, you've got good pen, you've got good alpha, um, and 16.56, you've got pretty good rate of fire there, too. So, um, the gun is actually pretty good on this tank, however you will need uh, APCR as soon as you get to uh, the tier 5's. Weapon handling, looking at an aim time of 1.78 before any equipment is right in line with all of the rest of these tanks. So um, while the gun's good, it doesn't necessarily stand out per se. Um, and then you're a little bit limited with that 7 degrees of gun depression. Um, so you got to play this more on the flat surfaces, uh, which is okay because, um, as we'll get to here in a minute, you do have uh, some pretty good armor. So if we move down into movement and mobility, 62 kilometers per hour is, um, is, is actually pretty good, only second to the A20 there. Engine horsepower 282 gives you a power to rate of 23 horsepower to tons. Um, and just standard terrain resistance there so you're gonna get an effective horsepower to weight ratio of 23 moving on down um, the website here says that the the traverse speeds don't correlate um, to what's in game so um, I'll talk about that in game in a second here credit coefficient looking at um, 132% so again you're gonna make fairly decent money even if you do have to shoot off a few extra APCR rounds and as I was saying looking at the hull armor and turret armor of 50 millimeters um, by far and away best in class there especially on the hull so uh, you will get quite a few bounces especially from those tier 3 tanks win rate 57.12 over the last 90 days with only 311 people playing this tanks. 
Okay, so here's the equipment page for the PZ38NA. You can see here I've chosen to go with improved vents over calibrated shells. So calibrated shells are going to increase your penetration numbers, whereas vents are going to give you a lot more, in my opinion. They're going to help with the traverse speed, turret traverse speed, also increase rate of fire, lower your aim time and dispersion, and increase your view range. So to me, that seems like a much better um, offset, considering that the tank has pretty good penetration numbers as it is so under vitality I am currently waiting for protected modules to load um, I don't necessarily feel that protecting cabin members is as critical really so specialization improved optics is going to get our view range up to 273 whereas camouflage net is obviously going to reduce our visibility and even more so when we're not moving so um, I felt like the improved optics, getting that view range up to 273 is actually pretty good. So, Enhanced gun lane drive is going to get our aim time down to 3.0, whereas supercharge is going to increase our um, shell velocity. Probably go with supercharge on this one, and the reason being that uh, I found this, one, this tank to be better as a support tank, shooting more from a distance as opposed to being up front. Um, kind of brawling, especially in the tier 5 games. Enhanced armor um, increases the strength of the vehicle. Armor, 5% uh, or improved assembly increases the survivability. Um, so you're going to increase your hit points by 30 up to 560 there. Um, I'd probably go with the 5%, get that uh, your 50, um, 50 millimeters up a little bit. Improved control versus engine accelerator. Um, I'm going with anything that's going to increase the horsepower more. Uh, I'm just going to help with powering up hills and so forth. So engine accelerator for me. Vertical stabilizer versus refined gun. I'm going to go with the, the stabilizer here. Get that aim time down to three. and um, Enhanced tracks or toolbox. Don't really care for either. Uh, consumable delivery versus high-end consumables. Well, I'm going to go with the uh, delivery system just because I use two repair kits versus only using adrenaline. So this one's only going to help me on one, whereas this one will help me on two. So again, caveat, I'm not loading out. I'm not spending spare parts on these lower tier tanks. I'm saving them for the upper tier where they're more critical. So let's take a look at some gameplay. First game here on Canal as bottom tier, and you can see they've got a KV-1 and an AT-2, which are going to be extremely difficult for me to penetrate with this tank. I am going to push left and keep an eye on my team and uh, see what they're doing. So we come up behind this bush here and, and kind of just look around. So we've got a couple guys going off to the right. Um, he holds their gun there come up the hill by himself there and pay the price I do get spotted for shooting there so since I don't know where anyone else is I'm just gonna relocate and push on over this mound um, and I figure they're they're all going um, the other side of base now but uh, we get the uh, t28 here pops up so we get a good shot into him and see we can pull forward but he's not looking at us I'm aiming for the tracks but this gun is not uh, even strong enough to uh, to damage tracks but we end up getting three shots into him and, and killing him pretty quickly um, now we see that A20 is over there somewhere so I'll just go ahead and throw that shot in there looks like they're all down by base um, so I'm going to go help uh, the Lux over there with the A20. You can see the tanks getting up to 65 kilometers per hour down the hill there. So good mobility. And uh, A20 goes zipping past us. We get one shot in, second shot there. Damages our engine. Um, I'm trying to turn to face him where my armor is. And oh, gee, AT, he's nothing but red. So... Um, yeah, let's not worry about that just yet. 
Um, but now we can come up from behind him. Going to have to use APCR. And we'll just uh, stay behind him and shoot him in the engine here in the back. Still need the APCR. It's just still red with the AP. Set fire to him, help with the damage there. We'll get another shot up top and we'll finish him off. Kill number three. Just the KV remaining. I know for certain I'm going to need a PCR on him, so get a shot off there. And he is distracted, so we're just going to keep shooting towards the back end of the tank there where his engine is. He can oftentimes set a fire. And we go ahead and finish off that team fairly quickly there. And that game went by um, rather quick. And I didn't realize I had done this much damage. Um, ends up that I'm at 1,411 damage. Which was just bare, barely enough, I think, to squeak by with a mastery here. Three kills. But, like you saw, you will need APCR against those Tier 5 heavy TDs there. Second game here on Mirage. I am top tier. A lot of tier threes here. Call is right, which is good for me. I like going this way. Um, and one of my new favorite spots is to come up right in here. Um, and uh, you can see here I'm getting rammed from behind by my own teammate, which is a major pet peeve. So, you know what? The only time I will block somebody is if they've blocked me first. I'm really, really, it's my number one pet peeve in the game. So, we haven't been spotted yet. And we're not sure where that guy is. We'll throw a few in just for good measure. T46 comes up. And you can see we're just pumping shots into him and now we're spotted. But I can back down this hill to safety real easily. Um, and it's a nice flat hill too. So even uh, with a gun depression of 7% here, it's not a problem. And this is how not to play your tank. Do not crest over the top of hills like that. You can get shot from every direction and you will be killed quite fast. So we're going to give this guy a little love here. You can see he's bouncing his shots. Um, I do a good bit of damage to myself with the ram, but we finish him off quickly. D2 is difficult to penetrate, especially from a distance. He's a small target in the front. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and push on him. And there he is. We'll get a shot in. And oh, hey, look. There's a low health PZ2G here. So we'll focus our attention on him, getting him out of the game first. And then we'll turn around get this D2 so you can see we're able to penetrate lower tier and I'm just using my speed and I know he's got a slow turret um, just to get a few extra shots in before he can shoot me and of course uh, you know not always easy to penetrate him from the front from the sides and backs it is certainly much easier and so we have two kills, um, fairly easy match there, but we did manage to pump out 1,364 damage and two kills, which was good for a level one mastery. Okay, so here's the game on Middleburg. And, you know, this is 
one of those maps where you, most of the time the fight's up top and those guys in those heavies, they had, have no interest in, in trying to climb the hill and getting engaged in the fight. So you watch our mini-map. Um, we've got three tanks pop up in a matter of seconds here. And uh, we've got two guys pushing their way through town, even though just about everyone's spotted here. And then we get that steward, I think that was, that just YOLOs into the middle of them all. Which uh, is not helping anybody. Somehow our BT-7's gotten himself killed quite quickly. And there goes the M5 steward. So we're quickly down two tanks. And... Uh, picking on this lower tier tank here who can't penetrate me but the other guys are on the other side of the hill here so I um, just want to get rid of him as fast as we can without taking as much damage but uh, he's gonna use his speed to get away from us so um, we're gonna try to relocate and get around this hill here while the other guys now have we have swapped places essentially So the team is folding quite quickly here. I think our heavies were pretty much next to useless. And so using my speed to just try to navigate around these guys a little bit better. Every, obviously every hit point is critical at this point in time. So we're able to finish him off. But we've got one on four. Um, not going to let the suspense build too much this does not end well so I kinda wanted them to think that I was going back down just trying to find a, a way to get into position to get this crappy gun depression to my advantage not sure where this BT-7 is going to come from But obviously he's out in front of the other guys because they're all slow heavies. So as long as we're keeping in front of him as best as possible, he's, he's bouncing his shots off of me. Um, so we managed to finish him off without taking too much damage. But I was hoping then that those guys had climbed the hill and that I could get into town into some safety. But... Uh, you can see they are on the side of the hill, and I'm finished off quite quickly. And these teams are really quite potluck today. A um, lot of younger players out here. So you can see you had two zeros, a 75, 176, 175. You know, these guys aren't even really trying. All right, here we are on mines, top tier. Gonna push the mine hill, but I'm gonna stop right down here, uh, hoping to catch anybody that wants to go on by. And then just drop down out of um, gun depression range, especially for that Russian tank there, so. And then we've got some brave souls here. They're going to crest over this hill and they're going to take some punishment for it. And there's really no reason to. Um, so while they've distracted everybody, I'm going to push around the other side of the rock. And these guys are just camping out in the open. There are so many targets, don't even know which one to shoot at first. They're going to back up. Um, counter's going up. So I'm going to push right. Go to the base. Make sure we get that taken care of. So 
seems like some other guys on the team have the same idea. And BT7 is taken care of. So we're up a tank. And we know most of them are all sitting in the, um, the TD spot. So we're going to try to use this rock in these buildings to shield ourselves from them. You can see T40 AP bounces off that sloped steep uh, front. We take a shot from the left here. I'm not sure why he stops uh, paying us any attention. But we're just going to pump shots into him at this point. This one here will get his engine. And then we'll finish him off. And you can see I've stayed behind this rock to the best of my ability. Um, DW is coming around. He's got the small gun. Um, so if I can just angle to him a little bit. Plus, I'm keeping that building behind me and those guys sitting in that camp spot. You can see here as I turn around, you can see that. Um, if I'd have pulled out further, they would have had shots on me, um, just like that Covenanter does there. But our base is at 92, 93. Um, no point taking any more punishment. We'll just let the, the base cap go. And that's what you guys get for uh, all camping at the spawn point. Alright, so here's a game on Lost Temple, and I'm throwing this in here more as an example of knowing not only your opponents, but also the makeup of your own team. So we've got a, a Matilda, which is slow, obviously. We've got a B1 that's fairly slow, and we've got a Valentine, which is also fairly slow. Um, but they've all pushed left, so I'm going to come into my little hill spot here. We get spotted, but we get a shot in. And I can just pull up this rock and be protected. Um, also got shots down the right alley if anyone comes through there. Um, so at this point I'm thinking no one else has been spotted, so he must be going solo. And as I'm making this move here, you can see um, B1 comes in. Try to get a shot on the, the Lux there, but... Uh, miss that and now we've got a tank coming in behind us um, so he is more of a threat so we'll go ahead and focus on him and of course he's in the middle of all of our tanks so everyone's focusing on him we're not going to let him turn around and face us so you can kind of see we've um Trying to prevent us from getting surrounded here. And we are down a tank. And they've got someone sitting in base already. Counters up to 20. So I'm going to chase these guys a little bit. Um, but I am keeping an eye on the, uh, the base counter. And um, it's at 57, 59, 60. So this is what I'm talking about, knowing your team. Nobody else on my team has got the speed left to get to cap in time. So... I'm taking it upon myself, even though I have 350 hit points left. I know this is a suicide mission, and uh, my only job here is to is to get the cap reset. Now, this uh, PZ4D is shooting heat and shooting it into my tracks, so he is effectively keeping me tracked, uh, which wouldn't have been bad except the two other guys that come around from behind the M2 there and the, the Lux finish me off but uh, you know they are now um, our heavies should now be able to get into base and finish this game off so we're back to even three on three 
and this Matilda is just gonna push on up so I knew no one else on my team could get to base which is why I went and sacrificed myself in this game and uh, luckily we had some fairly decent players that uh, push on through here and finish this game off for us but even with that said being aggressive up front we ended up with 964 damage level 2 mastery um, looked like we were top damage there so um, this can this tank is, is is average in my opinion it's not one you're gonna want to roll out every now and then just for fun um, this is a grind it up sell it and move on kind of tank in my opinion um, nothing stands out super great on the tank and you do struggle against the higher tier fives so anyway I hope this review was useful stay safe out there remember this is just a game so have fun get educated not fingered little finger out